Hi friends, welcome back to another video. So I know I disappeared again, but <laughs> I am back with another soaring photo cards video. I have quite a hefty stack today and we are going to be seeing all my binders today. So that's exciting. So we're gonna start off this video with a new collection of mine that I've mentioned a couple times already. Uh, we're gonna start off with one packed. Okay, so um, I think, I, yeah, I've mentioned it a couple times. So I'm gonna put one pack in this little collect book. Um, I do have a few Dongwu cards. Oop, spoiler. Um, <laughs> So yeah, I have four of Jungwoo's um, album photo cards that I got from Neo Kyo. So we are going to put them in here. I had new jeans in here um, before, but I decided not to continue on with my Hani collection. So I'm going to use this for Jungwoo instead. Oh my god, that is so cute! Okay, so yeah, I'm patiently or impatiently waiting for another one packed album, like a one packed comeback, since I think their debut was in November of last year. So it's been a while now. Um, <laughs> but I know they've been touring and having fan meetings. So yeah. Um, I don't plan on having too thorough of a collection for one packed. Um, right now, I just want some of Jungwoo's album photo cards. Not all, but my favorites, like this one. <laughs> this one's so cute to me, so I love this photo card. Um, yeah, and I believe this one is from the nerd version, if you are curious. But that is gonna be it for my one pack collection today. I'm excited where this is gonna go and how much is gonna grow this year. Hopefully we'll have a comeback soon. <laughs> okay, so next up I have my miscellaneous binder. If you are new here, I do collect some miscellaneous cards from other groups. Um, this is my first miscellaneous binder. She is full. So <laughs> I started or I will be starting a new one in this video. So I've already put some in here, which is my honey collection. Like I mentioned, I moved her out of the purple collect book and into this one just because I won't be collecting any more of her cards like I wanted to. But you know, things change. <laughs> it is how it is. <laughs> so um, yeah, so we're going to start off on this page and I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I have six cards to go in this binder. Um, I know this is kind of random. <laughs> These two Sana cards are from Taste of Love. Um, my sister decided to buy some Twice albums recently at our local K-pop store and she pulled Sana and obviously she is my twice bias sana momo and nina are my biases in twice <laughs> so yeah i took sana away from her or technically she gave them to me but whatever um yeah so she's gonna go in here my sister also bought the with youth the newest twice album and she pulled mina she has incredible mina luck uh, she always pulls Mina in all her Twice albums, <laughs> so lucky for me. Um, yeah, and this one, she's doing a cheek heart, which is my favorite pose ever, so I'm excited to put that in. And if you guys watched my Shop With Me video where I went and bought P1 Harmony's album, I pulled Jung Sub and Soul's unit card, and they're doing a little cute heart, I love it. And I also pulled Tio's solo selfie card. That is that. And then my list seraphim poll was Chewon, which is lucky for me because Chewon's my bias for easy. So yeah, those are the cards I'm gonna be putting in this binder. Um, I think I'm gonna take these pages out and then put the cards in individually. <laughs> so yeah, these sleeves are not the sleeves that came with the binder. I just like these sleeves better. They are from... I bought them from Mercari Japan through Neokyo a while ago. They are the B8 size and they're not PVC free because 
you can tell by the smell of them like when I first opened them um, so I do have my card sleeved but I have my I have my card sleeved either way even in um, PVC free sleeves so yeah just for extra protection yeah and these sleeves are just more sturdier sturdier in my opinion so that's why I like to use these B8 um, Japanese brand sleeves. Oh my gosh, Sana is so, so pretty. Um, yeah, that is that. I also got my nails refilled yesterday, so um, kind of feeling my nails at the moment. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna be seeing Tori Kelly next weekend if you guys know Tori Kelly like this video or comment down below <laughs> so um, yeah so I will be seeing her in concert in my city and I'm so excited oh my god and her whole tour is called purple skies so I went for a little subtle purple theme but yeah anyways <laughs> back to k-pop um, I'm gonna be putting in Sana first and then Nina since I like to go chronologically as much as possible. That's just how my brain works. So <laughs> there we go. And then we're gonna do P1. I'm killing it. Obviously. What? There we go. Oh, maybe I'll want to go first and then the unit card. There we go. Okay, and then Chewon last. Last but not the least, obviously. This card is so pretty. It, ha it like glitters in the back. There we go. Cute. Okay, this card or this binder is from Artbox from Vancouver. I think they changed their store name now. Um, but my sister bought me this when she was out there. For a concert early or late last year so yeah here we go let's do a little quick flip through cute cute oh my gosh i've really i've been listening to p1 harmony a lot lately i'm not gonna lie <laughs> okay so that is that for my miscellaneous binder i don't know if i'm gonna keep this card let's see what it looks like yeah, it doesn't align very nicely, so <laughs> I'll just keep this card in here for now. And yeah, that is that for my miscellaneous collection. Okay, so next is a collection that I haven't brought out in like a year or so now, <laughs> maybe. And that is my 80s collection. So I do have a few cards from Outlaw. So here is my beautiful 80s binder um, that I'm quite proud of actually. I love my 80s collection. It is one of my um, selected collections. Like I only collect select photo cards for them. Um, but I love how it lays out in this binder. It's just very clean looking, which I love. So we're going to flip all the way back, actually. I did set it up. There we go. Okay. So, um, I do somewhat on, on the top first and then, you know, at the bottom. Um, yeah, so I think I already put this in order. If not, my bad. <laughs> so I have these two at the top. These sleeves are kind of funky, though, that I have to, like, flip these flaps open and then put them through the back so yeah it took me a while to get used to this to these sleeves but I kind of like them because once you close it it kind of seals the cards inside so it keeps them extra clean if that makes sense okay and then we're gonna put you know at the bottom and we'll see what it looks like once we flip it over. <laughs> this is so cute because the wall. I think this is from Inky Gaio, no? I might be wrong. I don't know. But it's like that pink wall that all the idols 
um take their photos at and like do the challenges at anyways if you know you know <laughs> but um it kind of matches the color of my binder so he's kind of like peeking out of my binder i don't know delusion anyways so <laughs> let's put him in and seal these pockets up okay let me take these off there we go so that is that i think it's so cute and i'm really happy to be able to put AT's cards in this binder again. So it's a very cute collection that I have going on here for AT's and yeah. They released some, or like, not released I guess, but I know they're gonna be going on tour here soon and obviously it's nowhere near me, but yeah. Maybe one day I'll get to see them live. <laughs> Anyways, that is that for AT's. Next up, we have some Mark Twan cards to put away, which is always so exciting. I love putting in new Mark cards as a Mark Twan ult. <laughs> so yeah, I have some of his tour cards to put away today. We will flip to the back here. If you guys don't know, my username here means, well, it's Mark Nate Twan, obviously. So if you know GOT7, you know Mark Twan. <laughs> or, yeah. Anyways, so I have four. Actually, this is his whole Macau set from Tor. Um, I'm not a fan of the backs of these cards. I just don't like, I don't really, I'm not too stoked about the design. But that's okay because <laughs> they're selfie cards and he's so cute. Oh my god, look at that. This card is so cute. I'm dying to see him in concert again. Um, oh my goodness. It's almost... This November for 2024 will be like two years since I last saw him. So yeah, I really want to see him again. <laughs> so he should come to North America again. But I know his... Um, his tour is continuing in Latin America and Europe, I believe, for the other side. And he was like, should I play a new song? And that totally woke me up. Like, new song. I'm listening. I'm always listening. <laughs> so, yeah. That is that for Mark's Macau tour cards set. And then I also have two of uh bangkok's vips um i think this is day one and this is day two so these are his vip cards um yeah he has photo cards with milo and boots milo and boots are his pets milo is, is his dog and boots is his cat um he has photo cards with them and i really want like I really want them, but I know they're like super limited or something. I think they were they were only passed out at the venue. And yeah, so those are probably gonna be impossible to find. So <laughs> uh, maybe I'll make replicas, I don't know. But here are Bangkok's and here are Macau's. So yeah. I'm gonna have to like get another binder for Mark here soon because she's also very very full <laughs> but i mean i'm in no rush to do so since he doesn't release photo cards too often anyways so yeah but that is my mark twan binder okay since we're on god seven mark god seven we will be storing um some god seven solos which are Young Jay and Yu Yum's latest albums. So here is um, my Got Seven Solos binder that hasn't seen the light of day in a while, but she's out today. <laughs> so we are gonna flip to the back. Oh my goodness, JB. JB and Jinyoung should be coming back this year if I'm not mistaken. Um, but yeah. Let's keep, where is it? Oh, here we go. 
I, yeah, I still haven't, <laughs> I still haven't finished Sour and Sweet. I just haven't been looking much for um, Got7 solo cards at the moment. I've just been really keeping my pulls and then leaving it as is. I know I'm an OT7 collector for Got7, but I'm taking it super, super slow and it's just not a priority at the moment. Um, Bam Bam did spoil that GOT7 might be coming back in 2025, so that will be next year, so maybe then, maybe by the end of this year I will um, catch up a little bit. I might have said that last year as well. I don't know. Anyways, going back to Young Jay's, we're going to start with Young Jay. So Young Jay came out with Do It, his first full album, so we're going to store the photo book versions first one two three four five six seven for seven cards here um these are from the red version and then i also decided to store the stickers and this is actually from the nemo version but since it it kind of fits in with the layout that i have here i'm gonna keep it with the photo book set and then these two are from the blue version so I'm going to put the red version on the top. I'm going to put this one in the middle because it's more colorful. So, yeah. It's going to... Oops. He is a little crooked. Okay. Here we go. Young J. And then this one. I think Young J's also been touring a little bit. I think he's finished now though, um, but yeah, I really want to see Young Jay in person once in my life at least. <laughs> everyone, everyone says he's unreal, and he's already unreal like on screen, on TV, online. So I can't imagine how he is in person, and I swear I might pass out. If I were to ever see him, Young Jae and Yu Gyeong, <laughs> those two, I'm very like intimidated to see in person, because everyone, everyone, hypes them up like in person, which they should. Like I'm, I'm positive that they're freaking unreal in person, but I don't know if I can handle it, you know. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, I'm gonna put some white sleeves. I have white sleeves right now. I don't, but that's okay. I will find some cardstock or something to fill up those two spaces. But here is the photo book version for Young Jay's Do It. And then for the Nemo version, I'm gonna put them on this page, which is also gonna be a seven pattern. But we're gonna put. Okay, these are the concept the concept photo cards for Nemo so I'm gonna put these ones at the top and then these are the two selfie versions for Nemo this one is my favorite photo card from this whole album he has another one but I didn't pull it um, so I'm gonna put him in the middle I love that photo card so much and then here's the other selfie card I'm gonna put here and then this is the Nemo Pob that you get if you buy the Nemo version <laughs> so it's literally just called the Nemo Pob so I'm gonna put him here here we go and then these other two concept versions for Nemo are gonna go down here I think I'll put this one in the middle this one here there we go and again i'm gonna fill up those two corners with white cardstock later on cute oh my god oh my god i love seeing the got seven photo cards <laughs> makes me so happy okay next is yu gyum's trust me photo cards from his first full album too i believe yeah this trust me is yu gyum's first full album oh my goodness my babies are all grown up. My babies. <laughs> like Yugim is 10 years 
No, Yugim is only a year younger than me, guys. So, <laughs> whatever. I don't care. He's my baby. Okay, there we go. I'm just going to recenter these because they moved a little bit. Okay, so these two are Pobs. I forgot what store they're from, though. I bought them off of my friend who is, um, or she hosted a group order for Yugim's album, and she had some extras, so she sold me a couple of them. And I picked these because this one, he has a dandelion balloon, and this one is so freaking funny to me. I don't know why he's holding, um, an iron, so yeah <laughs> i thought it was silly goofy and then these two are his actual photo cards that i pulled in my albums isn't this so freaking adorable oh my gosh yugim is an angel okay so i'm gonna do a four pattern um yeah i think i'm gonna do that i'm gonna put the flower on the top middle and then this one at the bottom. And then these two on the side. Oh, I really like these sleeves. These are not dragon shields. These are popcorn sleeves, the dark green version. Um, yeah, I'll put a photo on the screen for you guys for the sizing, but they're really nice. They fit just like dragon sleeves, dragon shield sleeves. <laughs> Wow, I haven't filmed a story photo cards video in so long. Anyways, um, yeah, so that is that for my GOT7 solo binder. Oh my god, I love my GOT7 collection. Okay, anyways, let's put this away and start with Ive. Okay, so my Ive collection is back and we are completing Ive today. And Ive is coming back in the, I think, April 26, 29? End of April, Ive is coming back. <laughs> so I'm super excited to have new Ive photo cards. I feel like I finish their photo cards just in time, like, ev like every era. Um, and I end up storing them all together anyways. So that being said, we're going to start with the either way version. So I have Liz, Eugen, and Ray. We have, oh my god, oh my god, so cute. Okay, so we are going to start with Liz because she is my number one bias in Ive, my main bias. Um, but yeah, they've been killing it at their concerts. Uh-oh. Okay, sorry about that. I got the low battery notification. Anyways, what was I trying to say? Oh yeah, they've been killing it at their concerts. Oh my gosh, and I'm just like fangirling every time I hear all the cheers for Liz. Like, my girl deserves it so much. Like, all of them deserve it, but ah, I'm just so happy for Liz. Anyways, off the record is next. We have Eugen and Liz for this one. Oh my god. Such pretty cards. Um, the first concept photos for, what is it called? I've Switch, I think. The first concept photos for um, the new album came out this morning. Oh my god, the purple theme. It's like I knew, it's like I knew. Anyways, <laughs> I love it. Okay, next we have the baddie version which i have i have eugen and liz for so there we go i have ray already so that's perfect oh my god that's so cute if only ray did the whole harang hey version too <laughs> okay next we have loved ive which i have eugen and ray for Pretty, pretty. Let's put Ray here and then Eugen here. So cute. So cute. Oh my god, I love filling up my eye pages. It's so satisfying. And then we have the Digipack version, which I have Liz and Ray for to complete this page. There we go. I don't think I collected pobs for this era. 
No, I think... Yeah. No, I don't think I did. Because this is the play version or whatever you want to call it. Anyways, that's different for me, for I've. <laughs> um, but I do have one pob. Oh my god. I love this freaking photo card so much. It's the only pob that I really wanted for this era. So I decided to just like go for it and just get only Liz because this photo card might be my favorite one. <laughs> or one of the one of my favorites, which is a lot anyways. But yeah, I love this photo card so much. But I don't have an actual spot for her in here. So I think I might just put her in the back here. So at least she's still part of the collection. It's just, you know, she's just not by herself on a page. I'm just going to put her in the back here. So, oh my gosh, Ducky Liz is the best photo card to ever exist. Oh my god, I love her so much. Okay, so that is that for my eye collection which once again is completed before comeback so yeah we will have new ive cards soon oh my gosh they cut gull's hair again for ive switch <laughs> anyways um yeah so that's that for ive now we can get to my biggest collection not biggest collection but the biggest portion of this video Okay, so the biggest portion of this video is obviously Zero Base 1. <laughs> so we are going to start with my OT4 collection. So if you didn't know, I collect four. Uh, I, coll I collect four members for Zero Base 1, which are Matthew, Jung, Hao, and Guvin. I collect all of their album photo cards um and some of their merch cards so we actually have to fill in some holes here starting with the fairy tale version for how and Yuvin. um where are those over oh, right here we have how for this page oh he is not censored that is gonna bother me so let's fix that here we go, that's for how. And here is Cuban. <laughs> oh my goodness, Cuban has climbed up there for me. I love Cuban with all my heart. Next up, we have some for. Oh my goodness, what is this one? What is this version called? Why do I only remember a fairy tale version? <laughs> But anyways, I have Matthew and Jung for this page. Oh my goodness, I actually can't remember what this version is called. This one says, I love my angel. Delusion! Okay, anyways. Let's put these in their proper spots. I really hope um, when Zero Base tours that Vancouver will be part of it I, I totally don't mind traveling flying to Vancouver again for a concert so <laughs> in my head the only one that I would travel for at the moment would be Zero Base One so yeah let's let's manifest guys that Zero Base One includes Vancouver in their um, tour whenever that is okay and then for this page I have Zhenghao, do I have another? Yeah. Okay, so I have Zhenghao for this page. And then for the Digi Pack, I have to put Machu back. There we go. Let's put Matthew back to that page. Cute. So now I'm officially done with. Um, OT4's album photo cards. So, yeah. Okay. I know that there's an elephant in the room regarding Zero Base One. <laughs> but I will lead on. I will lead. I will get to that later on. Anyways. 
let's put away the season's greetings photo cards for ot4 um i still have eugen's set for season's greetings if any of you are interested uh, message my instagram account and we can definitely talk about it so i have matthew first let's put this off and then Jill. so cute And then how, oh my gosh, so cute. And then Cuban, who is a little crooked right now. <laughs> he loves this angle, he loves his close-up shots. So cute. Okay, last but not the least, I have the mood lamp set. I only have Zhang Hao for now. Um, the other three are at my Gomes place, so I will have that for the next video. But yeah, this collection, this binder actually, is done because she is full. I only have <laughs> debut and the first comeback in here and it's already full because technically, or I guess I just don't have self-control because like these are merch cards they're not even technically album photo cards so but I needed them they're so cute look how young they look here this is from the membership set oh my gosh and like trading cards I have so many tra trading cards for OT4 which I don't regret like it's so pretty so yeah, and these are from debut. Oh my god. Okay. Well, you just got a whole flip through of my zero base collection. <laughs> these are replicas that I made back in the day before they debuted, pre-debut. Okay, so this binder is officially done and closed for um yeah for next comeback i do have another one ta-da okay so i have i have another um binder all ready to go for the next album their third mini album which is coming out in may we do have a pre-release pre-release um april 23rd i believe it's called sweat oh my god I don't know. <laughs> um, I don't know what information you can gather from that. But I brought this out because so I have Ganuk for the front page of this one because this photo card is a card that I didn't want to let go of because it's so stinking cute. So for this cover, I have I have Hoodie Hanbin. Like obviously I can't get rid of him. It's, oh my god, yeah, no. So he is gonna go in the front of the new Zero Base One binder. Okay, I finally got him. <laughs> okay, so yeah, Hanbin is gonna be my new cover guy for the new binder. Um, the new album is called You Had Me, you Had Me At Hello. And I'm sure if you follow Zero Base One, you've seen the whole crop art for their album art oh my god i didn't know wake one was that clever anyways moving on because i don't want to talk about wake one um, <laughs> uh yeah so this binder will be for the next album hopefully i can fit more than two albums in this binder but if not whatever that's okay um i love my a5 binders anyways <laughs> So I'm gonna have to make a new cover page, possibly with the new album. Um, yeah, with the new album probably. So yeah, that is that for my OT4 uh, whole group Zero Base 1 collection. Now we can move on to Matthew. So Matthew is my main bias in Zero Base 1 therefore i obviously collect more for him 
I have some POBs and stuff for him. So we are going to start with this page. So I have a Brink Green and the Fancon necklace card finally. Oh my gosh. Some of these cards I've been waiting for for a while. But I finally have them on hand. Oh my god, I'm so excited. So first off, oops. First off, we have the Bring Green photo card, and I believe this is the Korean version. This one, I think, is the Chinese version. Yeah. So we have this one. The Korean card is much smaller than the Chinese cards, by the way, so don't be put off by that if you have both of them and you think like one of them might be fake. But the Korean one is smaller, so... <laughs> And then here we have the FanCon necklace card. Oh my gosh, dear zeros. Oh my goodness, so cute. Finally, I have that one on hand that I can put away. <laughs> okay, I don't have the Daikon ones yet. They're still with Sarah. Same with the Clean Perfume. Um, I have another Pob from Apple Music, which is the Cat Paw. I wasn't gonna buy this one but it came in a set in the Okio so I just decided to make a space for him so yeah he's gonna go right here Sarah actually was like wow I'm surprised you're not collecting the Apple Music one because he's in a tank top but <laughs> he ended up in my collection anyways okay next we have Ooh, look at that I have so many labeled already so I have the make star name tag version so cute i love it when he's wearing glasses as well and if you guys watch me or like know how i collect i do um i like to collect cards that are different from each other because as a pop collector i know not a lot of people collect pops but as a pop collect collector myself like some of the pops start to look the same if you collect everything so then some of them kind of seem unnecessary to have. So here I have the Beat Road Pob. I'm just gonna put it here. Oops. This one's kind of funky, like I almost didn't get that one, but yeah, I think I just needed to fill some space. <laughs> so yeah. Okay, and then next one we have the Jump Up Digipack version. Oh my God, this is so cute. I love his outfit obviously his glasses he's gonna go here next we have the make star video call i actually don't have this one yet this one's off this one is still with my group order manager um the lollipop version i do have i'm at 10 percent. let me get my charger <laughs> okay moving on k-town k-town lollipop version is right here this one was a late video call as well, like, yeah, but I decided to get it because he's holding a prop and prop cards are always fun. So <laughs> he is in my collection. And then I have K-Town China. He's holding a spoon. I actually didn't notice the spoon at first until the person that I was trading with called it a spoon photo card. So I was like, yeah. So this is from China, <laughs> and he's gonna go right here. There we go. And then next I have Star River, which is also a China store. And this is the Little Red Riding Hood Pob. I don't know if they called it that, but that's what I wrote down. <laughs> um, they also had like a a red hood card for debut i don't know if i collected it though let me see no i didn't collect it which makes sense actually because i think he was wearing the same outfit as k-town and make star so yeah that's that's why i didn't collect that one <laughs> okay next we have counting stars this is one of my favorite pobs of this era it's so cute he has little stickers on his face this is also a china store oh yeah 
I will be hosting again for Zero Base One's next comeback. So if you're interested in a group order manager and joining some group orders, um, I am available. I plan on, oops, I don't have, oh yes I do. I don't, or I plan on hosting for more stores this time around because I will have some free time around May and June. So yeah, that is that. For school looks, I think this is a magazine. Yeah, I think these are magazine cards, but I have both of his. This one is so cute. I love like cheek squishing, cheek squish cards. So yeah. Um, yeah, I genuinely love to host group orders. I know it's a lot of work and I'm well aware of that. Um, I hosted quite a few group orders last comeback, so yeah, it was a lot to handle at first, but to me it was really fun. And I was able to get all my orders out fairly quickly, so I know my joiners really appreciated that and I appreciated that as well. Like I love I love to get my items out <laughs> really fast and I like to receive them really fast as well. So yeah, um, here is my little Matthew and Guven page. I did decide to collect more of Guven, Guven's pobs and I probably will collect more of his pobs next era as well. Uh, like I said, Guven has really climbed up there for me. So I'm really not that surprised that it ended up happening. <laughs> so here we have Matthew's with Moo and um, Beat Road Lucky Draws. So yeah. I don't think I'll collect Yuvin fully though. I think um, that's a little too much for me. But in terms of some of his pobs... I'll probably keep some since I will be hosting um, group orders myself anyways. So I'll just claim him in some of my batches. But yeah. So I also have his Withmu and Beat Road to match Matthews. Here is his Withmu and Beat Road. This Beat Road card is stunning to me. I don't know why. I think he's so cute. <laughs> it's so simple, but I think he's so cute. So that's going to go there. And that is gonna go here. I'm also still, um, I haven't won a video call with them yet. So that goal is still up in the air and I still want to um, achieve it. <laughs> so maybe I'll apply to a couple um, calls this time around. So we will see about that. Uh, here are the Make Star Christmas versions for Matthew. Oh my gosh. I mainly hosted for this set because of the holo cards. Like, and it's like such a pretty holo as well. So, yeah, I have that. And this one is a stuffy card. Like, you can't go wrong with a stuffy card. There we go. That is Matthew's set. And obviously, I have Gubins as well. I have Gubins cards here. They actually drew on the back of their stuffy cards. <laughs> and I'll show you guys this. Oh my god, it's so funny. Okay, so <laughs> this is Matthew's dragon drawing and this is Gubin's. Like, <laughs> that's a fish, my dude. <laughs> Anyways, oh my gosh, if you guys saw their drawing side by side to Ricky's, it's freaking hilarious. Oh my goodness. Okay, moving on. Um, these Season's Greetings Pob. Oh, this is from the Snow Shop store, I believe. I don't have them yet. I have um, both of them at, at different group order managers, but they will be coming soon. And then these are just more of Matthews. This is the end of my Gubin page. So now we're back to just Matthew. This is his G Market Seasons Greetings. That's just gonna go here. I like to label my uh, pockets as I get the cards so I know which cards are on the way for me. And like, just so that I know I have even um, cards for each page because I don't like 
like just five on a page and then we're gonna start a new era to me that kind of makes me a little itchy so i always have to fill my pages here is his aladdin season's greetings pop cute oh my gosh and then apple music is this one his little peeking ones um the other eight members are full-on sleeping and he's the only one peeking oh my god it's so cute like if you have a full set of that please send me a photo because i want to see the nine of them <laughs> all set up with that um specific pop set i think it'd be so cute okay now we're back to um album lucky draws so this one is Make Stars photo book lucky draw. Again, I mainly got it because of the glasses and the hoodies. Like I love that type of concept, like the hoodie and the glasses. I like very simple concepts if you haven't realized. <laughs> okay, next we have the With Mu Pepperow card. This is one of those uh, PVC cards, so they're a little harder, but yeah so i have that this one i got off of neo Kyo. so i have that one next we have the music korea video call card to end this page Ooh, this is my first sort of full blonde matthew card that one is gonna go here and that is the last um video call or pop card that i got for matthew arena home this is um, a magazine card that i have right here this card is very interesting to me like i love i love the picture the material of the card itself it's kind of interesting it's like not paper but it's also not the pvc material it's kind of cool but yeah this one is arena home home I don't actually, I might be totally pronouncing that wrong. <laughs> but yeah, so I have Romantic Crown on the way. And then here are the Japanese cards that I also hosted a set for. I still have today's set available if you're interested. Um, the cards are still on the way to me, so I don't have them on hand yet for this video. But yeah, I decided to get his A, B, and solo version. I didn't get any of the units um, just because I feel like it would mess up the layout and I didn't get any pops as well so I think I'm okay with just the album photo cards anyways so yeah that is the end of that of this era which ends with Yura 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 is such a genius song by the way I love that song so much oh my god anyways um yeah so that is that for this whole video let's end with this page so you guys can see their fabulous dra dragon drawings i don't know why i can't say dragon anyways yeah so that is that for this story and photo cards video thank you guys so much for watching and i know i've been slacking on videos so much but with i coming back and zero base coming back i have some exciting videos coming in the next couple months so thank you guys for being here and i'll see you on the next one bye